good Ravens fam so we're back but before I get in that team you already know gotta play that thing Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, so hopefully this video is quick. Just got a little bit on my mind. So, uh, Shannon Sharp said this. And the first, I, I will, I just listen first. Just hold on. Let, let me make sure I got it right. Just when he said this, I was like, oh, but I don't remember hearing y'all. I could be wrong, but I don't remember hearing y'all talk about two certain people. But here we go. Who's a former MVP. He, when he makes the type of money that he makes, that type of uh, pressure should be on his shoulders and he should be able to deliver. Yeah, we expect a lot of these guys. Once yeah. you start getting in that plateau where you, 40 50 million dollars mm -hmm. the expectation should greatly increase yeah. all right when you 40 50 million dollars the expectation should increase now he was talking about lamar jackson who is 2 and 0 right now it's only been two weeks so it's just only 2 and 0 but you also know who is 2 and 0 now what's interesting is my f my fam um D3 made a great, great point in the comments of uh, one of my videos, my highlight videos of my reactions to the game. Let me just read um, a little bit of what he said. He or she said, um, I don't know if D3 is a female or male, just showing you respect, fam. But, Kenpo. Can we talk about how the excuses are about to pile up for Burrow and Herbert? One, before I even continue what the fam said, the excuses are all piling up. Oh, he's not fully healthy. You know, that quad injury, that's the only reason y'all are winning. That's the only reason y'all won. You know... They're not giving him a chance to throw down the field. I heard that they're not giving him a chance to throw down the field. That was one of the stupidest things I've heard. But Joe Burrow is zero and two. Justin Herbert, zero and two. And when a fan put that, I was like, oh, snap, that's right. That is right. I don't see... First take and uh, what's that uh, the show before first take? I didn't see them talking about that. I seen they was making excuses for Joe Burrow. They weren't talking about Herbert. Like my other video, Stephen A saying he's not impressed with Lamar. Like, bro, he's throwing dimes. He outperformed Joe Burrow. Throwing. The same Joe Burrow that has Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Boyd. But they still not giving him respect. Now, also, my family said, both got paid. And if and they are playing like trash. If this was Lamar and Hurts playing this poorly, they will say that they didn't deserve their massive contracts. Now, nobody is saying that about Burrow and, and um, Herbert. <gasps> Which is interesting. It's like they just waiting. We all know if, if Lamar or Hurts play bad, oh, they pouncing. They pouncing on that fast. Oh, he didn't deserve that money. They wasted their time. The Ravens was right for to, to hold back. That's why I respected the undisputed skip. He said the Ravens were trying to do Lamar wrong. He knew it. He got his people. Yep. If they continue this way, the AFC, we thought the AFC was going to be this huge juggernaut. 
The Chargers can't get out of their own way no. to save their life. No. Okay, Kansas City is is Kansas City and is kind of right. rocking a little bit there. Yep. And then when you look at, we'll see Cleveland tonight. Mm -hmm. Other than that, Buffalo, I mean, they play the Raiders. They didn't wow me, even though they put up a lot of points. The team in the AFC to me right now are those people down south in Miami, the Miami Dolphins, yes, sir. along with this team in Baltimore. Those are the two teams two weeks into the season that you look at and go, they may meet the AFC Championship game. All right, here's why I picked the Ravens to win it all, even over my Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Lamar went through hell last year, mm -hmm. and he put them through hell, but they started it, and, and he finally finished it, and it shouldn't have taken this long. He did get paid, but it, it was about as ugly as it can get. It got so bad that, that he was half-hearted in meetings, and I'd never could criticized him one moment because – they started it. Yeah. They, they should have taken care of him two years before this because all he did was win the MVP right. in 20, what was it? Uh, what year was that? 19. Six, 15, uh, yeah, I'm going back. Anyway, he, he, he won 19, the, I believe. yeah, we're going back four years ago. Mm -hmm. He won the MVP. You can't win the MVP without being able to throw the football. And he was of throwing course. absolute darts ah. that year, mm -hmm. darts. He has underrated arm strength like we we're just showing. It, it's just, it doesn't look like he's trying to throw it hard. It just comes out the way it's supposed to come out. Right. And by the way, before I leave this behind, they added Aguilar, who's mm -hmm. not bad. He's just been around. He knows how to play. He, he just knows he how to play. He's a USC guy. Mm -hmm. This fade route to Aguilar, th this was the winning touchdown. If we could see this, th this is sweetness, man. It's, you, 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 it's just a dime. It's, it, listen, you have to know what you're doing. You, you, this is a finesse throw. And Listen, if you're covering Aguilar, I don't, I don't think you just you just say that's just too good. Yeah, because he puts it, he, it it's it's a slot fade. Yeah. He puts it in a place where only the receiver can get it. Even if you're a corner, you're not fading that far away. I'm not no. looking to to go all the way through his body towards the sideline. I'm going vertical, thinking he's going to continue that way. So where he put the ball, the receiver is the outside shoulder. You know how hard that catch is over your shoulder, looking above through your through your helmet. It's even a harder throw, more so than it is a catch. Mm -hmm. because the receiver needs to leave room for air. What that means yep. is there's about a three-yard uh, cushion that you have from the sideline to somewhere close to the bottom of the numbers. If you get pushed too far to that sideline, yep. the ball's in the stands. Right. So you have, to, you have to now leave room for air, but the quarterback has to be able to throw that ball on your right side so now you can just fade to it yep. and just... Drops it in the bucket. A lot of corners don't know about the red line. See, I knew about the red line because I played receiver. Imaginary Once, red line. Imaginary. Well, they put it on the field no, they practice. They put it on the floor to practice. But, but yeah. you know if you push the receiver off the red line, to Key's yeah. point, that's where the quarterback's used to putting it. He's going to put it like you're on that red line. So I knew if I own the red line, it's interception. So when you see, for instance, just a little football knowledge, though, for those that are listening, when you hear announcers say that was a bad throw by a quarterback mm. when it's over in, into the boundary, yeah. it's not a bad throw by the quarterback. It's a bad route by the receiver because he didn't leave room for air. He got pushed by Richard Sherman into the water buckets. We all know it. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. That was very interesting. How nobody is really talking about that. Oh, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, did you see the end of the game? He was limping. Yeah, I also saw in a tunnel at the end, after the game he wasn't limping. But, hey, we all know haters going to hate. Everybody hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. God bless.